<clears throat> hey everyone! Welcome to Sarah J Beauty. I'm Sarah J. Hi there, my name is Sarah Sampson, 12% earner here at Pharmacy USA, and I am about to get ready for a huge interview with my Uplines Upline, Christina Hernandez, the leader of the Beauty Mavens, and I'm super, super nervous, but I'm only in my day makeup, and I wanted to take it from day to night a little bit. I'm not going to be doing, like, crazy amounts of makeup, but a nice, simple nighttime look that will, you know, sp uh, spruce me up a little bit, because right now all I am wearing is my um, Be Fit Moisturizer. It's a tinted moisturizer. I'm only wearing this. And then some mascara and some lip gloss. So I'm actually going to start by taking that lip gloss off. Because I'm going to be changing up my lips a little bit. So I'm going to use my Biface here. And I'm going to just take that off my lips. Now because I'm already wearing tinted moisturizer, I'm going to skip the primer step. And while I do that, I'm going to put on some lip conditioner. This is what I do every day before applying lipstick. It just helps moisturize the lips. It helps act as a primer to my lipstick later. And it, it's just very hydrating, fills in those fine lines, and is just an overall really good primer. So from here, I am going to add a little bit of foundation because like I said, I'm not wearing foundation. I'm just wearing a tinted moisturizer and I'm going to put that on. I'm using tonight my Pharmacy Stay Matte and this is color number one, which is like the lightest of light colors they have. As you can see though, I'm fairly pale. This is me year round. I joke a lot that I am just a vampire. I don't get outside and do anything much. So that is why, um, it's better for my skin though. So I might be a vampire, but at least I'm avoiding sun cancer, right? Or skin cancer, whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to dab it a little bit here in those areas where I need it most. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend from the out, inside out and really just Working it in. Now I'm going to avoid my eyebrows a little bit because my brows are already done. I don't want to have to redo those. And I am being mindful around the eye because I already have a little bit of product there. So I'm not using like a ton of product. It's just a little bit of extra coverage from where I was already wearing makeup before, or at least my tinted moisturizer. So really it's not, the tinted moisturizer is not really a foundation. It is just a moisturizer with a little bit of a tint in it. It helps give a little bit more than, you know, just a regular moisturizer. It does even my skin tone, but unlike a foundation, it doesn't clog your pores. It allows your skin to recover. That is why I used it today. I follow the 5-2 rule. If you scroll back to the uh, videos I did yesterday, you will see a video about the 5-2 rule. It's actually fairly simple. Um, you do five days of makeup on and two days of makeup off, and it allows your face to recover, your skin to recover, and to kind of react to the outside environment. So say it's been 80, 90 degrees outside, and now it's 30. <laughs> um, your skin will be able to react to the cooler weather. It'll be able to react to the drier weather and adjust where when you have that makeup over top of your skin, it sometimes creates this barrier and your skin doesn't know how to adjust because it, it doesn't even know what's going on. So it can cause dryness. It can cause acne and oiliness. It can cause discoloration, um, all sorts of problems. So it's really good to give your skin time to recover. And actually what they recommend is um, every year for two weeks, you do um, a whole week's worth of makeup fast. So what I mean is like one week in the fall, right before Christmas or right before it gets really cold or right when it's just getting cold, one week in fall and one week in spring as the temperatures rise and fall, 
you actually take an entire week off from makeup to allow your skin to adjust to that cooler and warmer weather and the environment there. So it's actually very simple. It's not that complicated of a, of a concept, I don't think, but a lot of us don't do that. And it can actually be really bad for our skin. And um, I'm all about skincare and using the right makeups for your skin and just taking really good care of your skin because you could put a ton of makeup on but be hurting your skin. And if you're ruining your skin, it's going to make it a lot harder to have really clean makeup um, application. And that is not what we want. So I just applied some Tender on Blush. This is color number one. This is Tender Blush on number one, Modern Ballet. Isn't this gorgeous? It's a very pretty color. Um, like I said, I'm not doing like a crazy amount of makeup, but I wanted enough to really differentiate between my daytime look here where I was just wearing a moisturizer with a little bit of tint in it to where I am wearing, you know, a little bit more fuller, a little bit more business appropriate kind of makeup where, you know, I look, I look the part. Okay. This is also really good for a night on the town and it's really easy to go from night to day to night in this look. So that is the ProtoFit found, um, eyeshadow primer that I just put on and I'm going to be using the trio set this is the sun sun <laughs> sunset kiss eyeshadow tri um, shadow trio and I'm going go in with this nice purple fluffy brush with this lightest shade right here and I'm going to just use that all over my eyelid I love these trios they're super simple they slip into your purse they're great for travel um, they're just super convenient, especially if you know you're not going to be home and you're going out, but you don't want to take like a giant compact with you or like a whole eyeshadow palette. This is a really easy thing you could slip into your purse and use to create a really nice evening look for a date or, you know, clubbing, whatever it is you do. Um, and really just dress up a little bit. For me, it would probably be a date because I am not a clubbing kind of girl. I got four kids. But, you know, I'm trying to speak to the masses. You never know, right? So, we got that. Yes, circus music. I don't know why. I am a squirrel, so I'm trying to keep my, my mind on track here. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this second color here. It's like a tannish goldish beige bronze color I don't really know how to explain it it's bronzy it's more bronze it's a little bit darker than that color that we just used and I am just going to take it just above my crease and then into the crease and I'm just going to you know darken it however I want I'm going to smoke it out a little bit And I'm even going to drag it underneath because I really like this color. Such a pretty, pretty color. This isn't the brush I would normally use and I can tell because it's not. This is definitely not the brush I wanted to use. It is what it is. But I'm going to make it work because I'm already using it. Normally, I would use a fluffier brush. And I'm actually going to probably go in and fix it with a fluffier brush because I don't know what I grabbed here. I wasn't looking. I'm blind. I usually wear glasses. I was going based on feel. And I can tell you, this did not feel right the moment it touched my face. This is a shorter brush. It would be more like what you would tap on at the end. Um, let me find my the red brush this is this is killing me i would normally go in with this one no see blind this one <laughs> it's another fluffy brush it's a pharmacy brush this is from their pink set and that's better there we go that's better i didn't mind it for under the eyebrow like under the eye right here that was fine there it was this part right here. It wasn't blending well. It was really heavy handed. And it, that, that was probably like the least soft brush I own. 
<laughs> it's bad. All right, I'm going to go in with this one, this brush. It's like a flat, but it's really nice and fluffy. I'm going to go in with this middle color right here. And I'm just going to get this outer corner here and a little bit into the crease. Just to darken it up, add a little bit of smoke to it. This isn't like a crazy day to night look, by the way. This is like a, I just want to level it up a little bit. Get this on here. Well, I really, you guys, I need my own office space. I can't wait. I can't wait for the day. I really can't. It's ridiculous sometimes. Like, I try so hard. I'll clean it up in just a bit because <laughs> I didn't really use concealer. So I'm going to go in with a little angled brush with some concealer just to clean up these lines a little bit since I already have like my foundation on and everything just to clean it up a little bit. Just got to paint that line on there. It was on the, it was on the ledge of the couch. I put it there. <laughs> oh for context I'm talking about her tablet charger like y'all are like what is she talking about Hygiene. Almost done already, guys, because honestly, like, this is a really simple day to night look. I just wanted to juice it up a little bit. I think that's the word I'm going for. I make words up. You'll find that out pretty quickly. Um, also, I'm like super nervous because this is my first time going live here on Instagram or Instagram. <laughs> I gotta learn my platforms. YouTube. I usually don't go live on YouTube, I usually just upload videos, but you know, I'm trying to expand a little bit get out of my comfort zone and one of the things I decided to do it was on the arm of the couch guys decided to do was go live here on YouTube and step up my game a little bit and um yeah so that's what's happening so I'm gonna go in now with some 3D mascara here I already have um some mascara on this is just going to create a, a fuller volume look and I'm just going to use, I'm just going to keep using this matte compact so I'm not like looking down and everything. Oh, if I can get it open. I'm not this, I'm not this talented. Mm -mm, I'm not. Eh. You shall not pause. I swear that's what this compact is saying to me. Now, if I had really wanted to get into this look, I would have added like bronzer. Or I would have contoured but this is like a really easy you're at the office you got a date afterwards or you got something else going on christmas party whatever it is and you want to get ready really quick you're zhuzhing it up zhuzh it up it's like kick it up a notch like emerald agassi bam <laughs> I feel like I'm totally aging myself with some of these references. It'd be 
be like, I don't know. But wait, there's more. Remember those commercials? Man, I miss that guy. He was funny. I can remember today, like, he he died because they immediately took his commercials off TV. You could probably find him on YouTube, but, like, he disappeared off the side of the planet. All right, I'm going to go in now with my ink liner. This is brown. It's literally, I'm just going to do it as, like, a normal liner. Um, no cat eye, nothing like that. If you want to get fancy with it, but... I have really shaky hands tonight because I've drank a lot of coffee. And I don't see it ending well. This ink liner, by the way, absolutely, absolutely love it. It's a lifesaver. I am not super good with straight lines. Like at all. I'm terrible with straight lines. And I'm actually able to get a fairly straight line with this liner. See, easy peasy. Almost done. So I got some liner. I added some eyeshadow. Next is some lip liner. This is number 223 of the uh, pharmacy lip liners. And I'm just going to, I keep closing this like as if I'm not done with it. If I'm done with it. I'm just going to overline a little bit, but I'm going to start on my lip line. And I gotta hurry. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna smudge it a little bit. Goodness, 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 goodness. I'm being texted. I'm being called to my live. Hold on one second. Yes, she said 8.30. All right. Now I'm going to go in now with it's number three, the pharmacy liquid matte lipstick nude essence. This was the first color. This is the first color that I ever used or owned from pharmacy, and I immediately fell in love with their liquid mattes. I wasn't sure about the color because I <laughs> I was putting it on too heavy. I didn't know, and you know you don't know what you don't know, and I put it on too heavy, and it turns out you didn't need as much as I used, and once I figured that out, absolutely love it. Now my trick is I have it on. I've used my um, lip conditioner as primer, and I'm just going to go in now with my transparent powder and just go ahead and tap that on and then you can see it at first but then once you go ahead and go <laughs> you know you're normal it, it goes really smooth it's very soft and satiny 
and it dries clear. So it goes on looking a little white, but it dries clear. And I'm just going to finish this off with some peach vibes of our nude lip glosses. And there you go. That's all it took. I just went from day to night in a few simple steps. Took me about 20 minutes and that's with talking. And, and you know me, I like to talk. Um, so not bad. I can't believe I actually did it that quick. I'm not usually so fast. I do. I talk a lot. But when I'm on a time limit, apparently I'm good. You know, just tell me I only have 10 minutes. I'll make it work, right? So that is the look that is day tonight. If you have any questions about any of the products used, be sure to comment or reach out to me on Facebook. The link is in the description of this video. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. Again, my name is Sarah Sampson. I am 12% earner with Pharmacy USA and leader of Team Glitz Mavens. And I'm so glad you joined me tonight. Thank you for spending some time with me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.